Yeah. All right, good day everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple app which function is to if you click on a button it'll play an audio file of you speaking or a music mp3 or just a sound effect whatever you choose it to be so first off we're going to open up the program Adobe Flash CS6 so you should have it on your desktop or in your program somewhere mine's is already open I have it down here so we'll go ahead and click on that and we're gonna create a new one which is we're gonna use actually action script 3.0 you can find it here or you can go into file new and click on it there but I always choose this one here so we'll do that and it opens up at the stage and down here I usually leave it on timeline I just like to see my timeline down here so first off we're gonna make two objects I'm gonna show you that you can make it with either a text or just a shape with if it's a line a square circle or something you drew or even a clip art that you just pasted into the program so first we're gonna use this text here we're gonna call it click whoops quick click to play sound let me just shorten it all right click on the selection tool again and then our second object I'm gonna use the rectangle and we'll just draw it down there so anytime you want to select one of your objects on the stage I usually come back up here into my toolbar and click the selection tool so we're gonna click on the text and type in the instance name and you always always need to type in an instance name for each object you use else your code will just not work so I'm gonna use BTN1 which stands for button 1 and then for object 2 as you can see in the properties here no instance name is shown so what we have to do is right click on it convert to symbol and we'll leave it as symbol 1 and type as button so okay and as you can see it popped up and we'll type in btn2 over there in the properties instance name and you can actually when you click on this you can actually right click and convert it to a symbol as well if you if you like but it already had the option to type in the instance name so what we're gonna do now is put a code into the text which will let us play a sound so click on the text and then you go over here to your right for the code snippets and once you click on it um, some you know example codes will be there already for you in the program and if it's not you can click on window and scroll down and you should see code snippet somewhere yeah mine's is checked so you'll just check it and it'll pop up so the code that we're gonna use you'll find it in audio and video click the drop down and we'll use the click to play sound double click on that uh, actually I'm gonna show you two ways to get it into the object you can first click on the object click on the um, code you wanna use double click and then it'll just pop in and let me just erase that and go back you can also click on the sound click on the code and you see this icon that popped up here you want to click on that scroll down and the code will be there for you and since I already clicked on the button it has my instance name already set into the code so I'll just press insert and as you can see when I go back to actions the code is in so what what we're gonna do now is test the code to see if it's working control enter I'm gonna click on the first one click to play sound and as you can hear it's working so click we'll stop it and nothing is no code is set to the square that I drew down there so we're gonna exit out and put the same code into the square so we're gonna click on it click on the square go to your code snippets and we're gonna double click the click to play sound and as you can see it dropped in and I don't want my codes 
hinged up against each other so what I'm gonna do is click in front of whoops click right behind the last code and just enter some spaces between the two and as you can see the gray area in the code in kind of explains what that code does so if you don't know exactly what code what what that code is doing you can you know read the gray gray area in the code in so we're gonna minimize go back and see if that's working as well control enter to test first one still works second one still works and we're gonna stop the sound so the first one we're gonna leave alone